This is a recipe for a lime and sour cream pie. It's pretty good. It starts out with a pot and I'm going to put in one cup of regular white sugar and I'm going to add to that three tablespoons of our thickener, which is cornstarch. I want to make sure I get it all in there because you really want the pie to set up. Okay, I'm going to give that a whisk around to kind of break up that cornstarch before we add the liquids. Okay, and to this I'm going to add one cup of light cream, light cream, not heavy, one quarter uh, cup of butter, that's kind of on the soft side, and one third cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. And yes, I did squeeze it myself. Kind of give that a blend. My burner is on and we're going to cook this until it gets thick. And I'm also going to zest in some lime, the zest. About a tablespoon, a teaspoon, whatever happens to be your favorite. If you like a lot more, put more in. It's not going to hurt it. I will save this lime for something else. And now onto the heat. And we're just going to cook this until it gets nice and thick and smooth. Our mixture is starting to come to a boil. It's just bubbling. Just going to cook it now for a little bit longer. Just so it gets a little bit thicker. It's getting very thick now. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in this bowl because I want this to cool down. And if I leave it in the pot, it's going to take a lot longer to cool down than if I move it into a cool bowl. And I'm going to then take this mixture and put it in the refrigerator while I get out all my rest of my ingredients to proceed. Be back in a bit. Our lime mixture is cooling down in the refrigerator, so now I'm going to start making the cream mixture. This pie is in two layers. So I have one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to pour into my mixer and get that started. And when it starts getting a little bit whipped up, then I'll add one tablespoon of confectioner sugar. Getting nice and thick, I'm going to add the confectioner sugar. Okay. So now to this mixture, I'm going to add one cup of sour cream. Just blend it in well. It's kind of hard to blend sour cream into regular cream because you can't tell when they're mixed. They're both white. Okay, that looks pretty well blended to my eye. Now, I just need to get our lime mixture. So here's our lime mixture. It's still warm, but I don't want it to set before I have a chance to put it in the pie shell. Now I'm going to add another cup of sour cream to the lime mixture. 
and blend that in. This one's a little bit easier to see. And again, what you need is a pre-baked pie shell of your choosing. You can make your own. You can buy one in the supermarket. I like the frozen ones. I think they're pretty good actually nowadays. If you need the recipe, go to the website, our website, and I have a recipe for my pie crust on there. Okay. Now, one pie shell. I'm going to put our lime mixture in. And needed to get my little offset spatula, which I just absolutely adore. Now we're going to put that cream on top. Carefully because you want it to have distinct layers. You don't want it to be smooshed into the bottom. And one thing I love to do for garnishes, but I just like it because I happen to like the taste, is I love to candy uh, lemon peel, orange peel, and in this case, lime peel. And then you can just take some of these candied lime peels and sprinkle them around. And this pie now needs to go into the refrigerator. It, the pie is all done. It just needs to set up in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And there is your lime and sour cream pie.